Hey guys, welcome back to Weld.com. So we just left Temple, Texas, and we came out here to Houston. We couldn't leave the uh, we couldn't leave the Texas area without stopping by to see our friends over here at South Coast Welding Academy and the guys from Weld Tubes. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna meet the crew. They got something special for us planned. Uh, something we've never done. Something they've never done. We're gonna be doing some three quarter inch diameter stick welding. It's a Comet F25. Uh, this thing's a beast, man. The welding rods are like four feet long. So let's go inside. We'll talk to the crew and we'll go ahead and get set up. Come on. going on Jason. what's up man what's up bro Resendo? what's hey, up man hey, how's it going mike you, what's going on let's see bud <laughs> so what the hell are you guys got hey. we got the world's biggest electrode let me see that bad man there you go Jeez. look at that that thing is massive <laughs> should have brought a pickaxe so we can chip the slag off of it <laughs> oh yeah we're gonna need it that thing's a beast man oh yeah so uh what are we what are we gonna use to run these uh we're using dc 1000 we're gonna run a thousand amps. We're gonna run a thousand amps with this thing. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, man. Let's get to it. Let's Time get to, to it. it up. Let's go. It up. Let's go. All right, so we have a four foot long, three quarter inch diameter electrode. Very similar to a 7018 in nature as far as the, uh, the technique we're gonna be using. We have a thousand amp uh, ground clamp that we've makeshifted into our stinger or our electrode holder. Got a piece of all thread that's insulated back here. It's usually a mechanized process used in foundries to fix their dyes and all their molds, and then they'll, they'll weld this stuff in there and then they'll machine it afterwards. But we can't find anybody that rents the equipment so that we can run this on a mechanized process. So we're gonna do it uh, the only way we know how. We're gonna, we're gonna do it manual, just like a regular, uh, regular stick welding on a beat on plate. So let's get to it, man, it's gonna be awesome. So this thing's four foot tall, the electrode. Um, so we're gonna get up on the ladder. We wanna keep this piece of material off the concrete, weld over top of concrete, <clears throat> get a good chance of the uh, messing up the concrete below so we're just going to go ahead we got to set up on a little table and we're going to kind of use the ladder to our advantage for the uh for height going hot all right so the technique i'm going to use is just a standard drag technique i'm going to do a slow steady pull just like you would any other 7018 but uh, this one's under the giant stinger, apparently. This thing is massive. Uh, it's got quite a bit of weight to it. The electrode alone weighs about 40 pounds. I think the handle weighs about another 40 pounds. Uh, so about 80 pounds altogether. And we're just gonna run a regular butt joint and see what we get when we're done. Things got some serious deposition. Just laying it right down here in the groove, letting the rod do all the work. I'm just maintaining my travel length or my travel angle, work angle. All right, I think we're gonna call it good. Leave some for Mike and Resendo. Cut it. Yeah. Whoo! That is blood, awesome. Man. All right, we'll let it cool down for a second because it's extremely hot. We're gonna let that slag cool back down to a darker color. We'll chip that slag off and then see what we got underneath. All right, as you can see, I'm not using a normal chipping hammer because they're, uh, I don't, I think they're a bit undersized for what we got here. This stuff's pretty slick. I'm just gonna use a standard claw hammer. I use that claw on the back, just kind of pick it off at the corners. 
slag's not too tough. And then maybe we'll hit it with a wire wheel when we're done. Get that wire wheel, Mikey. Yes, sir. <clears throat> That looks really good there, Jason. It's hot, man. Thanks. Really yeah. nice. Right, before anybody calls me out, I got a little bit of undercut. It fused in there now. Oh, yeah. She's definitely definitely got good depth of penetration. It was shoot. You guys want to try it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Get after good. it, man. All right, come on. All right, Roshindo. Ready? Ready? This works. Yeah. Here we go. Live. You're live. Basically what I was doing right here, I was just dragging it very slow. Uh, don't rush it. Look, make sure you look at your puddle. Uh, keep pushing, feed it at all times. Very similar to 718, all right? Woo! Not bad. <laughs> Let's see how it comes out. It's not bad. Not bad at all. It's a, it's a little different, as y'all can see. It takes it's practice. It's hard to hold it steady. I mean, that thing's yeah, it's yeah. heavy. It's heavy. That thing's pretty heavy. But hey. It takes a little bit to get used to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, can I have a, let me have a run at it, Rosendo? <laughs> all right. All, all right. right. Let's do this. Going live. You're hot. So Jason, what'd you think about that? I tell you, it was awesome, man. It was a once in a lifetime experience. I mean, it's it's hot and heavy, but it was fun. I had a yeah. lot of fun doing it. I don't know about you guys. Uh, I had a blast doing it, but uh, let's keep it to that machine that actually holds that rod. Cause... I think that's probably a good idea, man. This is not meant to be handled by, you know, a man, man boy. Yeah, you can't manhandle that thing. No, uh, it'll, a... it'll make a man out of you at the end of the day if you're able to run it. Oh, it will. It's the reason why we call it the beast for yeah. a reason, right? I think oh, stout, yeah. man. It is. But, uh, it will definitely put some hair on your chest, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> well guys, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch it. hope you guys learned something uh, in the fact that you probably should just leave this up to the machine. Um, not the man. So appreciate you guys watching. Till next time, make every well better than your last. Three quarter inch starting to scorpion tail. Got some slag peel going on. Woo! She purdy. It's usually a mechanized process. Hold on, your mic just... Out. Technical difficulties don't fall under the part of the talent. Mm -mm. That's the same the cooking guy told me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we have here is a four foot. Abraham, we're shooting the video, Abraham. Please be quiet. Perfect timing, huh? Thanks, Abraham. We're good? Yeah. You done? Hey, I'm not too short for this, right? Here we go, I'll lower it down. <laughs> I'll lower it down.